Harry and Meghan lose the war after pressuring Kate and William. There is no doubt that Prince William is currently receiving unqualified praise for his work in the United States earlier this week, a marked difference from Prince Harry's recent visit to the United Kingdom. According to royal commentator Daniela Elza, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have lost the war with Kate and Prince William. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. The couple have been at odds with the royal family for years, with the disagreement becoming increasingly evident in recent months. Seemingly uniform appearances, without any communication, showed the depth of tensions between the two sides. Ms. Elza said the Sussexes were losing the war after throwing Prince William and Princess Kate, and the entire monarchy under the bus. He said the pair seem to have won some battles but are significantly losing the respect of people around the world, especially those in America. Elza wrote in his article on news.com.au, in the battle with Buckingham Palace for the hearts and minds of Americans, Harry and Meghan now appear as if, although they have won some battles, they have ultimately lost the war. The Sussexes may have repeatedly thrown the monarchy and William and Kate under the bus, but Lazarus, like the prince and princess, enjoys an approval rating livelier than a surgically enhanced sea cup. She further adds that William's recent trip to the US for this year's Earthshot Prize could have been the golden ticket to their great success. The commentator wrote, it's William who is being hailed as the real man doing everything to save the planet and who is getting unstinting praise for his £1 million Earthshot Prize. The finalists are, Axion Andina from Peru, Freetown the Tree Town from Sierra Leone, Belterra from Brazil, Polish Smog Alert from Poland, Enso from United Kingdom, GRST from Hong Kong, Abalobi from South Africa, Coastal 500 from Global within the United States headquartered, Wild Aid Marine Program from Globally headquartered in USA, S4S Technologies from India, Cirque Incorporated from USA, Colorifics from UK, Sea Forest from Australia, Aquacycle from USA, Boomatra Global based in USA. The winner will be announced on Tuesday, November 7 in Singapore.